Hello, in this video I am going to present uh, voice control robotics. Uh, this uh, is based on model V3 and this model comes with a library voice recognition V3 uh, library file. So this file has to be included in our Arduino programs. So this is a program and if you have not seen my previous uh, video where uh, by giving command uh, we control the robot movement left, right, and forward, backward. Uh, those kind of commands can be control, uh, controlled. The, the, the good thing about this model, V3 model, is that it can store 80 voice command, different voice command, but any time uh, only uh, 7 of the voice can, command can be active. So there is a problem with this model. Apart from that, this model is, uh, is cannot recognize generic voices. So you have for every specific thing, you have to for every voice, every uh, person uh, controlling this uh, robot has to be programmed. So uh, what I did is uh, I'm storing the initial uh, name of the people controlling this uh, robot, and for each people, I'm controlling. Uh, uh, I'm programming the uh, the model for left, right, uh, forward, backward, stop, or start uh, kind of commands. Uh, there are two part of this uh, V3 model. Uh, for the first, uh, this has to be programmed for each uh, person uh, controlling and for uh, this, after that, uh, the programming part has to be done, the Arduino program. I'm using Arduino Uno for controlling the robot. So let's go through the program. So there is a software serial library I'm using and this is a voice recognition uh, model library. And for each uh, person, I'm defining the, the signature commands. So there are four people com commanding the robot and each one is defined here and these are the function left, right, forward, backward, start, stop kind of things and uh, 2, 3, the pin 2, 3 of Arduino are connected to VR chip V3 that is the voice recognition model this is uh, the pin controlling the motor drivers this is LED pin, it's a, it's a RGB pin, so it gives us multiple color and the baud rate for V3 chip model is based at 9600 and the, the initial at the start of the ro robot, when you switch on the robot, you set the default uh, uh, record, 7 record to be the 4 people controlling the robot, so each name can be recognized. So these are the names that are controlling the robot. So once the names are stored, uh, it's wait for the person to speak out the name. Uh, this is the common record. Plus there are few commands like a start and a stop for the main uh, primary person. So record zero uh, is storing the primary person name. And, uh, and these are the default state of the pin, uh, the robotic uh, motor driver pin status. So it checks the name, the out of four people, whoever is speaking the name, that particular person record will be stored in the first uh, seven uh, buffer. So this is the first person stored. The buffer, buffer is cleared, the primary buffer in V3 model. And the second person, uh, if that name is recognized as the second person name, the other records are stored, the other person name related. And similarly, other two persons names are stored. And if any time uh, the, the records are not recognized, it always goes back and reset to default mode. So the common records are always set by default. So that is always can load uh, for those people who have, whose names are stored. So out of four, any one record can be stored here. And then based on the name spoken, uh, it stores the, uh, the person can speak out the name and the command and based on that it moves left, right, forward, backward. And for each time uh, it doesn't recognize uh, the name uh, command three times, it resets the commands and goes back to the, the in initial common records where the names for four specific uh, people are stored. So again reset back to the first state. Otherwise uh, the person can speak the name, say stop 
and uh, and goes back to the first record the common record so that it can always move back to any person name and so this is a common name in case of a stop command and this is a backward forward functions this is a normal command uh, function for any robotic projects this is a motor is stopped here so this is the way the it works so there is a drawback here that it cannot recognize uh, a specific command it can recognize a voice command based on the specific uh, person program to and if there is a change uh, in voice pattern it may not recognize so it's not very efficient this has to program from a very specific distance spoken from a very specific distance like 3 feet to 5 feet or 6 feet and if there is a noise level in that particular area area the command will not be recognized so it has to be spoken multiple times and if it's spoken three times and it's not recognizing the name and the command it will always reset back to the common record so that it can always start from the zero at the initial position so hope you recognize uh, understand the, the program model it's very organized and uh, very generic in nature for all uh, number of people program so it can be programmed for multiple people also and based on that a common link can be given from the initial common record to uh, extending records and based on that it can decide to upload that voices also other commands also can be stored and based on that uh, either it can reach back to common record or move back to the standard record so hope it helps you i uh, hope everyone uh, thank you very much for watching this video bye bye